Hmm? What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, about that, we're looking for a way to repair the float for their festival. Aisatsu. Aisatsu. I can't wait for that to be actual emote in the game. God damn it. <laughs> uh, um Okay, there we go. I was like, I can just gonna stand at the station for a good while. <laughs> ゴーニってはゴーニ従え。トライエラが多部族国家であるからこそ、それぞれの部族が大切にしてきた文化を尊重すべきなのだ。そうか。だからお前は他の派の族の文化にも詳しいんだね。うん、いや、でも、explains ほう、柔軟な考え方をする。そういえば君の姿見覚えがあるよ。いや、I've この受け部礼儀を語っておきながら王族の方に無礼を働くとは弁解の使用もございません。Ah, uh, you don't need to worry about formalities with her because she doesn't really care about all that. どうだそのもので人思いにこの首を。怖いこと言うんじゃねえよ。She <laughs> wouldn't go that far. まあ気にすんな。私は堅苦しいことは嫌いなんだ。そうですか。では気にしません。Well, he changed his tune real quick. Well, Grant, he told him not to worry about it, so... <laughs> yeah, how prompt. ジツは、イヒーハナサイに使うミコシが壊れちまって、新しいカツギボウと目を作ってほしいんだよ。ウユイポの木とアボキシャって石を使うんだろ? ええ、そうです。喜んで協力させていただきたいところですが、その材料がそこをついておりましてな。Oh, ばしょ教えてくれよ。私が取ってくるからさ。そ、そんな王女を使いパシリのように扱うなど礼儀を重んじるこの受け。A <laughs> gross violation of social protocol. だから気にすんなって言っただろ。そうですか。では気にしません。I <laughs> shall not worry about it as you command, Walker Lamont. <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's going to be a occurring thing between him and Wokalamon. <laughs> ほう。イヒハナサイの真の意味をご存知とは。昨今ではハヌハヌ族でも知らぬものが多いというのに、さすがは王女ですな。
<laughs> um. Mo. Mo. No. Yeah, maybe just a tiny little bit. ゆいぽの木がばっさいできる場所には私が案内しましょう。あ、牧者の方はお仲間に任せてもよろしいですかな。聞き取ら道のあたりを探せば必要な分は取れるでしょう。あ、オッケー。So Oh, that would be a huge help, Dina Hanu. Yeah, alrighty then. With that entail, let's head out and find our materials. Well, it seems like we'll be getting a couple of materials for Wook Vu, although our conversation was eased up by one of Gold Jaja's lackeys. Great, now he knows our plan. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna ambush us for those materials. Okashira, Omoshiroi Hanashina Kikimashitaze. いい話さいね。本命がダメだった時の備えとして泳がせておくのも悪くないかもよ。どうやらメスネコちゃんにも使い道ができたみてえだな。Oh, hell no. If you want our item, you need to get true to me first. Alright, let's talk to Lina Hano for the next part of the quest. Kay Costilla is to the southwest of Okahano. We can return to the village first, then head there on foot. So we're going back to the village. I'm just gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna ride going there. That's fine. That's fine by me. Not like I need to worry about teleporting. And here we are. <sighs> Southwest of here, was it? Let's be on our way. Alright, continue. Alright, here we are. Cave Kititola, as promised. Home to many deadly creatures. Venture inside if you feel confident. But I will conduct my own search out here. You can spot a raw. Abokisia by its green hue glimmer. Bring anything matching that description to me. Okay. Well, I shall help scour the insides of the cave then. You can take the west half and I'll take the east. Alright. <laughs> Be right over here. Eye catching glimmer. You find a chunk of stone glowing in the distance of shade green. It seems like the exact kind of mineral Nina Hanu was looking for. Oh, perfect. We got the one we're looking for. And there's a aetherite current right over here. Let me just grab this real quick. Hello, beauty.
I need to go back and get all the other Ada currents and the other zones as well. While I'm well, after I finish the quest line here. Oh, wrong way. Alright. Well, we're back. Got the material you asked for. Well. Well, I picked over the grounds near the entrance, but found nothing. Do you have better luck inside the cave? In a matter of fact, I did. Yes, this is the Aboxia. Along with Krill's contribution, we have more than enough for our needs. The stones you brought shine very brightly. I thank the both of you. Be happy to know we're putting things right. Shoot me, Toad. A good friend of mine was meant to be a festival leader for this year, Idahana. But when that big storm hit, he he did not survive. It fell to me to carry on in his stead. That was why he agreed to Wakaloma's request, despite your initial reluctance. Yes. It hurts to hear, but she was right. Though, I must mourn, but I can't let my grief consume me. Her words made me realize the path to my recovery, our recovery, is already laid out before me. And I will walk it for myself and for my friend. Ah, Thank you for sharing your story with us. Please. Rest assured that we will take your plight to heart. I'm certain our companions are producing the other materials as we speak. Everything will come together, and Hanon shall host a splendid uplifting festival. That we will! Well, one thing for sure, this will be a festival to remember. With that, let's return and deliver the Opo Sikia into Wokobuk's waiting hands. Yeah, let's do that, and hopefully they don't run into Boko Jaja's minions along the way, because I'm pretty sure they're gonna try to steal our shit. Thank you, Third Promise, and her mighty swing. We have collected some suitable logs for Yupidio. What of the Obixia? About now, we got what we needed right here. Yes! These are excellent samples! A godly quality too! At this stage, you are likely to summarize that the lifting of wings encouraged the crops to grow. But not exactly how, eh? Well, you're on for a treat. If it goes to plan, the result should be spectacular. To get to work, crafting these pieces for the float, I could use a assistant first in the arcade arts to enhance the UPO's conductivity. Well, we do have Cryo, she is well versed in the arcade arts, so maybe she can help you in that department. Then I'll be delighted to help. Everyone else should head back to Okuhanu. We'll join you at the float once the work here is completed. Alright, so I guess we don't need us to stand around here. Oh, we go. Beep. We Alright, here we are. Gathering the Okuyo was a trial in itself. At first, Wukfu criticized everything I did. Then he suddenly yelled, I have spoken ill of the third promise, and must punish himself, and process to slam his head into the Okuyo tree. I told him not to worry about it again, and he was like sniffing up a candle. He's an odd one, that's for sure. 
Well, I guess you meet all kinds of people in this world. Well, at least we're seeing to the poles in a new eye. Now we just have to wait for the feathers from the twins. Alright, next. The lifting of wings. Well, we should get some rest before the excitement begins. Over there! By the float! Isn't that the third promise? That the rumors are true! She's trying to compete for the Feast of Reeds by reviving Inhana? was a prayer for healthy crops, but does she honestly believe it will be enough to save our harvest? The second promise, Mima, Barry glanced at the fields before leaving Okohano altogether. Maybe we asked too much of our young Clements. Oh, why you? Ugh, don't bother. Oh, I wouldn't be too quick to count Corona out. A friend of mine over here muttering by the reeds. Something about what needs to be done. Is that so? Perhaps we got to see another of his innovations firsthand. Yeah, go on, get out of here. <laughs> that sounds like Arcona. One look of the reeds, and all he needs is to think of a solution. As it may, our own solution is nearly ready. Indeed, as soon as the others get back, our long awaited festival can begin. And here we are, the twins. Well, it took some doing, but we managed to gather the prisoners of vials for the title of Wind Chosen. The winner was only too happy to denote his feathers. You should have seen it! He caught on the fort of incredible gust and sent his feathers sailing for moms! We had to take turns ourselves, but it was more difficult than it looks. Poor Anvil twirled into the air for a moment before landing on his foot. Ugh. I am a gleamer. Magic is not part of our training. As for us, we brought the wood and gemstones we placed crafted by wook a -woo. All that's left is to attach them. Has it been decades since I decided to ride the float? Well, Papa was the guest on the last time I was here. I remember being surprised when they couldn't lift that thing with his hulking weight on top of it. The rider must be personalized from great esteem, which is why the invitation is usually extended to the Dawn Seven. This time, however, I have another in mind. Oh, who is it? You, Walker Lamont! Our beloved Inahana! The lifting of wings! It's only being held because of you and your companions! Thus, I do nominate you, Walker Lamont, as your guest of honor! Uh, me? But. This boat won't make me seasick, will it? Uh I don't think so, but on the off chance it does happen, well, you're shit out of luck. Then weigh anchor. I can hardly refuse a request from one even more enthusiastic about the festival than me. I will be delighted to ride your float. Why, thank you, Book of Lamont. I'm a row for the rest of you as well. We'll be carrying the festival float in a slow procession towards Konosukli, where the sacred likeness of Tassilia is enclosed. What I'd like you to do is to clear the path of the dangerous wildlife, so that the procession can move along unimpeded. Well, consider it done. You expect me to sit still until Wak U had finished with the float? Let me come along and help with the clearing. 
As you know, I'm not much for fighting. I can stay behind and assist walk over with the repairs. If you're sure where you need to go, then the path I spell begins at the south of the village, then branches to the east, and then it will lead you across the bridges to the stride of the sun. Then we shall be clearing it to the end. Alright, so let's get this harvest festival in motion. Alright, Wukulamont, get on the boat. Thank you guys for watching this recording session on Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Drill, main MSQ for 7.0 and onwards. If you have any comments, you can put them down below the video as well. And if you like this video, please click the like button, it is very much appreciated. And if you're curious about future content, you can check out my YouTube channel. If you like the content that's been uploaded there, you can probably subscribe. If not, that is alright. But, if you're going to, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified for future videos in the near future. And as always, I have three projects which are continuing on my channel, which are Final Fantasy XIV Raid, Trial, MSQ, Rockets, Dropkits, Minions, Mounts, or anything related to Final Fantasy XIV. Secondly will be my two gachas, which are Great Grand or NA and Honkai Sorrow. And for both of them will be the Lost Belt missions. The trail based continuance, the companion quest, and of course the future banners that'll be coming for my two gotchas, respectively. And lastly, to say the least, Persona 5. And with that, this has been Raven Sleep 45. Take care, stay safe, and have a pleasant Final Fantasy 14 day.